You know how sometimes you get up in the middle of the night and you walk through your house in the dark and you feel like something's there and yeah. you just get kind of irrationally scared and then other times you're completely fine and you feel alone and safe? Yeah, yeah. It's because you're right. That's terrifying. Thank you, good night, everybody. <laughs> do you believe in ghosts? If not, do you think I can change your mind? Okay, you guys. Have either of you seen a ghost in real life? I don't, have you I seen a ghost? I haven't seen like a shadowy figure or anything like that, but I've seen some weird things that I couldn't really explain. Well, tell me one. Certainly, I've seen things going missing and you come back and it's in an obvious spot that you could oh. not have possibly missed kind of thing. It's probably just yeah. stupidity, Forget I would And imagine, don't worry, but... cannabis is legal now in Canada. <laughs> Peter, have you ever seen a ghost? No, but I, I, the closest I can say is that a relative and myself were walking up a beach in Muskoka years and years ago. Mm -hmm. An aunt, a very favorite aunt, had died a couple of years before that. Mm -hmm. And at the same exact time, we both looked back. And I said, geez, I thought I saw Auntie Sarah. And they said, that's exactly what I said. No. So it was almost like she was on the dock saying, Wait, don't go for dinner yet, or whatever. <laughs> or, or, yeah. Wait, Thanks let's a have lot. a drink before dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a house in Stratford, and it's never felt ghosty, but in the last couple months, I started to sleep with a nightlight. I like to point out that I'm 50, 47, and ginger years, but I, I'd like to, I, I put a little nightlight on because I started to feel a little nervous in my house. Well, you're absolutely mm. right. <laughs> Some of the locations used for filming Murdoch are reportedly quite haunted, you guys, like the historic Glanmore House in Belleville, Ontario. Do you remember anything spooky? No. You don't? I didn't really see anything creepy, no, not especially. Because they say there's a spirit. Remember the DOP? Very creepy DOP. He died <laughs> five years before you did that episode. <laughs> He's been dead for 40 years. In the house. <laughs> exactly. It's said that there's a spirit that walks the halls, plays the piano, and opens and closes doors. Okay, and this is my other favorite one. How about Queen's Park? I so did, I there know. are a bajillion ghosts at Queen's Park. One in particular is a hanging woman who appears in the long tunnel below Queen's Park. Really? Yeah, that doesn't sound scary at all, does it? Hold on to your pants, you guys. She's thought to have been a resident of the Hospital for the Insane that existed on the site before the legislature was constructed in the 1800s. <laughs> Queen's Park, Insane Asylum. I'm gonna leave that with all of you, okay? Yeah. So I'm gonna show you some pictures, a few historic ghost photos, a photographer named Mumler who did spirit photography. He was a fraud, but what they didn't know was that this is not a ghost. He'd superimposed. I what think you, it's you. you. What? <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Maybe a little. We're unsure. <laughs> okay, so scroll through. This was taken by a 12-year-old in Hampton, England, on her smartphone. Her cousin was walking ahead, and she was snapping away, and she didn't see this person. Yeah. Until later. I know, yeah. It looks like someone's looks wearing like an a, octopus like a... on their head or something. I know, yeah. but everyone thinks it's someone really tall in period photographs, but I guess it's an iPhone phenomenon. Not that I'm here to solve mysteries today, but if I can it's do something like for the world. It's almost like you're taking a panoramic shot, but when, instead of going like this, yes. you like this. Yeah. Yes, that's what <laughs> that I said too. Scary. Okay, this picture was taken in the, the infamous house in Amityville, Long Island. It was taken by paranormal okay. researchers. Yep. Look at the little boy. Oh, yeah, that's. Tell me that's not scary. Come on. on. <laughs> that's such like a little kid it's thing like, to do too, like just, peeking out okay, around oh, the corner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so until next time you guys remember to keep an open mind and if you go looking for ghosts don't go alone dun 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 <laughs> <laughs>